Okay, so today I have the most weirdest encounter with a property agent. So if you guys are property agents out there, please let me know if this is normal. So I inquired about this house that is in apparently Happy Garden or Kuchalama. So it's stated um, 1,500 square feet and then there's some photo listed. So I inquired, so um, I introduced myself and then the person actually um, thought I am a girl. But I don't think Kenneth is a pretty normal girl name to begin with. So then after that, I actually inquired if it's a corner unit because um, the, the photo actually shows that there's a lot of land on the side. But then the, the description says that it's 1,500 square feet. So it's kind of an intermediate kind of um, land size. So I inquired and then he res responded that it is an intermediate unit and ask me if I want to view the unit itself. So I actually um, inquired again if um, where this house is located or maybe the area that the house is located in so that I can go check it out first. And then he responded saying that um, the owner wants his privacy which is um, fine so they, don't want, they do not want to disclose the, the exact address or the location of the house. So that's fine. So I then sent him a picture that he actually posted on his listing and asked him like you know why is there land on the side and you say it's an intermediate unit which doesn't look like it and then the funny thing is he responded and said that um, it is in fact an intermediate unit but the photos are not real so it, it is not that unit itself so this is kind of like i think a bit weird like there's no photos and there's no area he didn't want to give me an address there was no i have no idea where the house is where is it located um, and there was no photo or, re or reference so and even at the end again he keep asked he, he, he kept asking me if I want to go for a viewing but would you would anybody actually want to view a house or any property without actually knowing where it is kind of like at least a proximity of where it's located or kind of like the road is located in or kind of have a reference of any photos of the property itself who would want to kind of do a viewing in fact it's there's no way like nobody's gonna do any viewing but you know, um, anyways, that's basically my experience. I thought it was an interesting one. So, um, yeah, but um, I do commend him at the end there of his, um, at least his gesture of saying, you know, take care and stay safe. So, yeah, to you guys too, take care and stay safe. So, I would like to share with you my perspective as a teacher. Stay tuned. where this gentleman, Mr. Kenneth, is asking a few questions and asks real estate agents, is this normal and what's the perspective? So the first question he asks, why put photos of not the actual property you're marketing? You see, real estate agents, right? We get a lot of inquiries every day and the internet has made it so easy. With the press of one button on your phone, you can straight away send an inquiry to an agent. So the first thing first, the agent will be wondering, you, uh, are you a serious buyer or not? Or even worse, are you another agent trying to undercut? So that's why we don't show the photos. It, because if we show the photos for some like very scarce development, for example, like this terrace house that you're looking for, corner lots in the market, you know very little. The moment we show the photo, if, the, if it's a competitor agent who knows, then the agent will definitely will call the owner and that's it, our deal is gone. And one house usually will have few agents marketing it, not just one. If it's one agent, an exclusive agent, then it's different. They can show the original photos, still the owner will have to deal with that exclusive agent. You cannot deal with anybody else. Hope that answers your question. The second question is, uh, the second question he says that the agent told him owner wants privacy so don't disclose address and location. Uh, this is very normal, especially in the neighborhood where it's very scarce and close, like a gated and gathered community, landed gated and gathered community. Some owners, right, they don't want you to tell the whole world that they are, they are selling a property. So we, we as agents, we respect that and work with that. But most of the time, most of the time, right, it's actually the agents trying to protect their rest book. Again, if you get the address and if you are another agent, you will definitely be able to call the owner. Or if you just got like a street name or even a hint of information, you call the owner. The next question he asks is that, is it normal for anybody who wants to view a house without knowing roughly where it is? The answer is, because based on the agent perspective, why we ask you this question to share we come and view is number one, we want to test, are you a serious buyer? Only serious buyers will come and view. Or, number two, right? Once you come and view, we will know whether you are a serious buyer or you just are in the which part of research. I've brought some people who view uh, just because they don't know where is the place. My fault. As an agent, I didn't ask whether you know where is the property. If you don't know, uh, most of the agents, like uh, experienced agents, will not ask you to, let you to come and view. They will ask you to 
go and do some research by your online first because nowadays everything can be done online so the answer to your question is i think uh, they are ju just testing you whether you are serious buyer or you're an agent if you're an agent you will just say i send me information send me information you don't want to go you just ask for information there are people who actually will go for viewings the last and final reason right is the third reason is that to the agent right, if you are willing to come view go through all the obstacles come and view that means the agent has a chance to close if you don't have a chance to close or so not that property maybe other properties they have at least you get to meet you and talk to you like find out what you want find out what you need you know build rapport build relationship that is what the agent is thinking that is why asking you come and view come and view so that is most probably why okay so what can you do about this and all of you who are looking for a house what can you do about this i find that the current generation of buyers especially the gen z's and the young millennials okay those less than 30 or early 30s you all have a lot a lot of information in your hands and your fingertips the internet is a very powerful place so you don't have to really need to go down to the physical property like us last time we have to go like every week go and see this property that property one by one you can shortlist and do your research online first and funnel it and then only you go and start looking for properties this way right you will look for the properties and also the agent after you have done your research to me honesty is always the best policy as an agent and as a buyer or seller my interest is I want to help you to close, find your match fast so that I can get my commission. You want to settle your pain points, which is the house that you want to buy for whatever reason it is. So I want to help you. So we both can help each other. We don't have to be opposing parties, you know. We are partners. So start by being, you can start by being honest with your agent. Tell the agent where you are in your buying journey. If you are in a research mode, just tell the agent, I'm still researching and I'm comparing uh, sub-sales and under construction and auction. I don't know what to do now. Then the agent will be able to actually ask you like some quest Wi-Fi questions and see, okay, maybe I cannot help you, but I can refer somebody else to you. Or I can find for you the stock with my network behind, I can find for you something that is suitable for you. There's two ways. So honesty to me is always the best policy. Yeah? Let's go back to questions from that video by Mr. Kenneth. If you are Mr. Kenneth and you want to view that property, so what do you should you tell the agents? If you are, again, you go back to the first, be honest. If you are really keen in that property, you just ask the agent. I've seen a few units in this place. I've or I stay nearby here. I just want to start looking for properties. That is why I choose this. So can I go to view this property? Just ask directly. Don't have to be like hide here, hide there. Just ask directly. I don't know why it's so so hard to just ask. If you ask, the answer you get maybe a yes or no. That's it. Or the worst that you get right, is the agent trying to take you on a merry-go-round. In that, if that's the case, just call other agents. Ah. There's so many agents out there. You don't have to be like sticking to one person. There's no law to state that you have to stick to one person. Right? So you call other agents. Call other agents, you still don't trust other agents. No problem. You call the agents that you trust all right, to be your buyer side agent. And they will call these agents for you to ask for co-broke. Okay, that is extra work for them. Depends on whether they want to do it or not. There's many ways to get the house if you really want it. But it all starts with research and being honest with yourself. That's it. I hope this explanation helped you in your journey towards home ownership. This is Kenny here from Property Stories. If you have any more questions with regards to real estate and financial strategies, you're welcome to email me down below. Or just WhatsApp me. I'll see you again in the next video. Bye-bye.